What's up guys? That's what I look like? Oh, no, no, no. Hello guys, welcome back to another video, or if you're new here, what's up, I'm Courtney. Obviously by today's title, you already know what we're about to do. I'm about to glow up, because this is what I look like right now. Yeah, add a little spice. Really need to stop quoting TikTok stuff. Anyways, we're about to glow up, you guys. Um, I have some appointments booked this week, so this is gonna be kind of like a week-long type of glow up, if you will. So for today, I am about to go get my nails done, and then on Friday, I believe, Thursday or Friday, I don't even know what day is it today, we don't know, but like Thursday or Friday, I am going to be getting my hair done. Now what am I doing to my hair, you ask? I don't know yet. I have a couple things floating around in my head. I'm sure I'll make up my mind by the time my hair appointment comes, but right now we gotta focus on what the hell we wanna do with our nails. So, um, I'm just about to glow up. This is what I look like right now. Yeah, and I just know for a fact this is not what I'm going to look like by the end of the video, so it's gonna be pretty crazy. With that being said, let's go ahead and get our nails done. Oh my god, this is what they look like right now. Like, this is what they wear for, oh, that's my little puppy in the background. Isn't she so cute? <laughs> this is what they look like right now. Um, They're just sparkly. I did this for like New Year's and whatnot. I actually did a poll on my Instagram recently. So this was my poll right here and A1. So I was between A or B. Now here's my thing. I wanna do both. I wanna for sure do A and B this like upcoming time. This is going to be a new fresh set that's going on my nails. So I feel like Doing a French tip first on a fresh set, set, <laughs> on a fresh set, fresh, anyways, would probably look better than doing that the second time around because I only get them changed every other time. Does that even make sense? Am I even making sense to you guys? No, it's 2021 and I'm still not making sense. That's besides the point. There was my poll. If you're not already following me on Instagram, go follow me right now because I do a lot of polls and fun stuff. I need to stop rambling. It is 12.30. We got a nail appointment at one. Let's get to it. Okay. <laughs> Cookie for the road. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> nope, no YouTube can't copyright me. Mm -mm. But this is the cutest thing. You guys. <laughs> you guys want to know something so funny? So right now, I look like um, a freaking tomboy snowboarder. I don't even know. It's just kind of like what I felt like putting on today. My hair is natural, so this just, it is what it is, you know? And I can guarantee you, I'm not going to look like this at the end of the video. I bet you 100 bucks, I'm gonna be all dolled up, looking like a girly girl, which clearly I can't pick an aesthetic to save my life because one day I wake up and I'm like, mm, I'm gonna wear all black or mm, I feel like looking like a boy. So there's really no in between with me. And I feel like I'm so hard on myself because I tell myself my videos have to be a certain way and I have to like dress a certain way all the time to like match my aesthetic or whatever. But in reality, I don't freaking have an aesthetic, dude. I just wake up and I get dressed however the hell I'm feeling, you know? And that's that. That's my story. I have nothing else to say. Besides, let's go get our nails done. Woo!
Hello. Oh, there's something on the lens. Hello, I am back from getting my nails done, you guys. I am obsessed. Let me tell you. Actually, let me come up with a different word real quick because my mom told me I use the word obsessed too much. This one's for you, mom. Okay, you know what? I honestly can't think of another word. So, what I'm going to say is these nails are everything. Anyways, cue the nail montage. No time for the games, okay? Now, Nails, check. We're like one step closer to looking better, but we have to like do this now. Let's just go ahead and skip to the next day. It is the next day. I have not glown up all the way yet because obviously we have um, a few steps to do still. So we have to fake tan, which I'm going to be doing tonight. And I think I kind of want to make a separate video on fake tan. So I feel like I have a lot of experience fake tanning and kind of what the best tan is in tea, you guys. I found the best one. I'm not gonna jinx it. Let me knock on wood, but I really think I found the best one. So I kind of want to share that with you guys. So I'm not going to like go into detail about my fake tan when I do it tonight. Also, I kind of want to do some skincare. And then um, tomorrow at 12:30 we have my hair appointment. You guys can see this right now. Can you see how light my roots are compared to my freaking black ass hair? The goal for me, you guys, is to not have to keep coloring my freaking roots every single month. So in order for me to get to my natural root, I have to bleach it. Like, there's no way around it. And I'm super scared to do that. If you haven't already heard everything that's happened to my hair, I will link it right up here. You guys can go check that out. My hair has been freaking through it, and I feel so bad for my hair. So it's so healthy now. It's grown. It's not damaged. Knock on wood one more time. So yeah, I'm just in a pickle because I don't know what to do. Um, the poll I put on Instagram, which is right here, um, brown one. I really am like more so leaning towards brown right now. I just feel like it's going to be not the brown my goal is. I think it's going to take some time. Obviously, because I want to do it the healthiest way possible. I would like to keep this hair in my head and I don't want it to be fried or gross. Ugh, it freaks me out just even thinking about putting bleach on my head right now. But it's besides the point, we're going to freaking do it. It's going to be great. And I'm excited. Change is good sometimes. So let's go ahead and do our skincare now. I'm gonna I'm gonna find a mask to do. Okay, tell me why I'm about to like pull up to freaking Survivor and be like, what's up? I'm on the green team. It is what it is. I'm about to catfish you all tomorrow. But Okay, so now that I look like I'm a part of the Blue Men group, that's it. That's the glow up. Okay, so I literally just changed into like a whole new everything. Um, and I took like a gajillion pictures, but I bet you 100 bucks I don't post one. It just happens, you know? Okay, so now I'm gonna go tan. Actually, first I have to shower, exfoliate, shave. And then I'm gonna tan. And then I'm gonna sleep in my tan. And then I'm gonna wake up tomorrow at 5 a.m. and wash my tan off. Bitch, you didn't wake up at 5 a.m. You woke up at 5 p.m. <sighs> it's gonna be a really great time. It's gonna be a really great time. <laughs> I must have choked, but I didn't. Uh, let's get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She my peanut butter jelly stack. Pull it right, but she uh painted. That's my sunshine when it's raining. That's my pool. Yeah, yeah. When I'm all alone, she pulled through. Wow, hello and good morning. It is the next day. Um, I know, I just, I'm pretty sure I said I was going to see you guys bright and early in the morning. Yeah, that didn't happen. Um, if you're following me on Instagram, you probably already know why, but all my alarms were literally set for p.m., not a.m., p.m., 5 p.m., 5.15 p.m., 5.30 p.m., and before you know it, I was late. So I got out of bed this morning at 6.20, didn't even have time to shower and wash my fake tan off. So my fake tan is still on my body, you guys. Gross. So I literally didn't have time to do anything this morning. So I am um, 
off work now. It is noon and my appointment is at 12.30. So I'm gonna run to Starbucks real quick, grab myself a little something something so I can enjoy a drink while I get my hair done. I am freaking out about changing my hair, you guys. Like I'm trying to get myself to not chicken out. Worst case scenario, if I like don't like it or something, I can always just go back black, it's super simple. That's my update on my life, you guys. Um, I will see you when I get to the hair salon. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I haven't even updated you guys since I got my hair done yesterday. Um, but I wanted to wait because today is the actual final glow up of this video and I'm super, super excited. So I'm about to do my hair and makeup. Um, you'll be able to tell more my hair. I promise you there's brown in it. It looks amazing. Um, she does such an amazing job. And obviously, like you guys know, I'm a freak about my hair now because if you haven't already watched how much I put my freaking hair through, um, I'll link it right here if you want to go check it out. Basically though, my hair was fried. So I'm like super scared to even bleach it at all. So we're taking a baby baby steps to get to the brown that I want because my hair is pitch black right now. Super happy with the way it came out. Um, I'm gonna curl it so you'll get to see it better. So I'm gonna do my makeup now. I got some new makeup from Ulta. I'm super excited to try out. And we're gonna curl my hair and then we're gonna go take a couple pics because you have to have pics or else like the glow up never happened, right? So yeah, okay. My head kind of hurts so I'm like drinking water but also drinking coffee because essentials, right? You guys already know I'm gonna start off with my sunscreen love sunscreen and i actually really like this one too it doesn't make my face like gross and it doesn't like it smells like sunscreen but it's not like super strong smell you know i have noticed a huge difference too since i've been wearing sunscreen every day with my skin one of the new things that i got from ulta that i'm super excited about is this urban decay hydro maniac tinted glow and i got this in light 30 and i was just like hoping to get something like a tinted moisturizer so that's what I'm hoping this guy does for me. We're about to see. Does a little go a long ways? Is it just gonna be like a tinted moisturizer? Is there gonna be coverage? We don't know. Really kind of want just like a dewy look on my face. I don't want anything to be like super matte anymore. Just not really into that. Like sometimes I am, I don't know. It just really freaking depends. I don't really know. I'm just gonna apply this with a brush. Oh, okay. Also, I think that color matches me pretty well with my fake tan of course i don't know how it'll be when my fake tan comes off but i've been keeping up with my fake tan so i'm not too worried about it also this is the update on how my fake tan looks you guys after keeping it on for almost 24 hours um i don't recommend you do that oh my god i'm super excited to take an instagram picture in a new outfit i got these new jeans and i think they're so freaking cute they have like little ties at the bottom and they're just kind of like scrunched up at the waist i don't even know how to explain it you guys will see in a second but i just think they're so cute i think i'm gonna go over it with my beauty blender after doing it with a brush you guys saw i really didn't even put that much on either Yeah, honestly, I really like that. Like, I don't need a lot of coverage. I'm not like a full coverage everyday type of makeup wearer, you know? I'm just like, need something super light and simple and fast. So, I have no complaints with that so far. Ooh, I also got new lashes, you guys. Have you ever tried House of Lashes? Cause I have never. These are the two new lashes that I got. So one is like super dramatic and these ones are kind of, well, they're still dramatic, but not as dark. You can see like the base of these ones are super dark and these ones are not as dark. So moving right along to concealer. I feel like I'm all over the place today. I'm gonna do a little bit of this. Hello, blend this guy in. Oh, 
Okay, concealer check. I still feel like I have like bags under my eyes, but honestly, it is what it is. We can't all be flawless. You just you just you're beautiful the way you are you know embrace those back girlfriend all the rest of the steps to my face have stayed the same so if you are curious as to what i do on that i will link a video up here i'm just gonna speed this up i don't need much but a bad why so slow sleeping in my skin hoping it's about something that's pretty important to me and that's you that's true. Cause I ain't gonna pay no toll. Money can't kill my pain, but no, it keeps my dream alive. And just like that, we're on our eyes. <laughs> Crazy. I don't know what I want to do with my eyes, though. Probably something with shimmer. Probably, maybe, probably, but probably, most definitely. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I have really no look that I am going for today. I'm just putting some brown shadow on my lid. I don't know. I'm using the Morphe 350 palette for anyone curious. And I'm probably gonna do my little signature wing thing, you know? Driving perfect circles. Wonder what's the purpose. I'm coming back to earth. Oh my gosh, I literally got a little too excited when I was squeezing my eyebrows the other day and I don't know if you can tell but like I completely took off this eyebrows arch it just uh rounds out there so I have to like try to mimic this arch on this eyebrow I don't even know what I was doing um so that's my dilemma with my brows right now I don't even know if you can tell probably definitely can let's see what we can do Did I do it? Yeah, I mean, I feel like that looks pretty even. I don't really know. And then I just go back over it one more time with some gel. I think it helps it make it look a little bit more natural, not like I just drew on my whole eyebrow. <laughs> All right, now it's time for mascara and then lashes. So I just kind of do like a light coat of mascara, nothing too crazy. My lashes go like straight out. And I refuse to curl them because last time I did that, my curler just took my eyelashes with it. It was very rude. One day though, one day my lashes will be to the point where I don't have to wear falsies anymore. And it'll be a really great time because sometimes I don't want to wear falsies. Like they really aren't that bad. You can see them, right? I'm going to turn my straightener on because I'm going to do straightener curls today. I'm not going to film that portion though because I kind of want the end result to be like... Boom, this is what I look like, you know, I don't know, something. Okay, those are really pretty. I'm just gonna try these out, see. Didn't even know it was capable of doing that. Oh, I don't know. The trick is with the lashes is to like not force it on your eye. You wanna be like gentle if you're just like, Frick, oh, why is it sticking? Just gotta be gentle with it. Like it's a little baby, you know? Wow, that analogy was really good, wasn't it? These lashes are really pretty, but the band of the lashes are way different than like what I'm used to. I feel like I feel like they're kind of like flimsier and the ones that I'm used to are maybe like thicker and more like sturdy, if that makes sense. These remind me a lot of like Ardell lashes um, with like the thin band. It looks like these ones are a lot thicker, like they have a thicker band, so those might go on a little bit easier. Um, but I did have to work with these a little bit, so. That's that, but they worked out, we got them on. That's all that matters. The time has come, so I'm going to let down my hair here and start curling my hair. And then when I'm done curling, I'm gonna put my outfit on and it'll be time for the reveal. I'm so excited. I already look better than how I started this video, right? Right? I mean, <laughs> Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, we're here at a random place to take pictures. Uh, it should be interesting.
Okay, now we're gonna go shop. All right, guys, I just got back shopping. Um, I actually didn't even get anything. I just had to return a couple things. But as soon as I got home, I ripped my jeans off and took my heels off and put sweats on. So, like, that's the reality of glowing up. Am I right? So, I just wanted to quickly show you guys, like, my outfit and everything. So, hang on. Let me set you down right here. I don't know why the heck this camera stand is crooked. It, I don't know. Is that better? Anyways, these jeans, you guys, I am so obsessed with. Actually, sorry, Mom. They're just everything. I don't mean to say obsessed again. But... I absolutely love them. They're so cute. They tie at the bottom, so you can kind of like cinch them up a little bit at the bottom. So, so cute. And then they have like this detailing right here, so they're sewn, so they're kind of scrunched right here. Um, and they fit super, super nice around my waist, which is like my struggle with jeans because my waist is smaller than my badonk donk and my thighs. So it usually like I always get um, a waist in jeans that gaps. So I absolutely just like suck at finding jeans jeans for me is a struggle and i hate trying on jeans la -di -da, -di da but i saw an instagram girl that i follow wore these in a picture and i had to get them so i did they're from honey bum i think pretty sure if i'm remembering correctly i will link them down below if you guys want to try to get these i know they were just sold out so i'm not sure if they're back in stock but if they are you should definitely get yourself a pair just for reference um, I my waist is a 27 and I'm five three and a half and I got these in a size small so and then I paired it with this just white basic crop that I got from forever 21 nothing too crazy just because um, I don't know it was just plain and simple and that's how I wanted it to be and I knew I wanted it to be white because then I paired it with these boots that I also got from forever 21 so which they already gave me a blister rude <laughs> That was my fit. So I did um, get some Instagram pictures, of course, um, but I don't know if I'm going to insert them here or if I'm going to make you guys go check out my Instagram. So if you haven't already, go check out my Instagram, see the pictures that I took. Um, and I don't know if you guys can see my hair any better, but I can. Like, I can tell a huge difference that it's not just pitch black. You know what I mean? So there's brown in here, and I'm just, like, absolutely obsessed. And I go back at the end of February, I think, to do more. So I'm excited. <sighs> I'm like out of breath, just trying to get my shit done. So yeah, um, that is me all glown up. I had so much fun doing this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hashtag get with it, subscribe down below. I'd love to have you guys a part of my wit fam. And with that being said, I will see you guys in another video. Bye.